What's up everybody, it's KB the Barber. I just wanted to show y'all my little mobile setup that I got right here. It's a little briefcase that I got. You know what I mean? Open this joint up. Got everything. I don't like to I don't like to wrap my cables around my clippers because it like they get all tangled or whatever. So I, I do them real loose. And I use this to hold down the cape that's on top of these right here. Now I just hit that out with my thumb. But this this will stay down in there now. You know, put that on there. You got the weight. You got the weight of the uh the clippers, and then basically you just take that out. All your all your wires is already out. You know what I'm saying? Move this. Put this to the side over here. Got the little surge protector. Now here are all my guards. Here's the big the big thick guards, and then I got the smaller guards that's able to go in here. And then these are my my uh detachable blades that I got. It's my clipper cleaning brush. It's a nice brush. I love this brush. Triple sevens, you know what it is. Got the Andy's T outliners. Let me just show y'all how I got my how I got my stuff set. Look at that job. Uh, nice. Nice, right? And I put this one this way because the you can't put it in this way like that. You know what I mean? Because then the thing hits, so to avoid all that. Everything fit in here perfect. You see, I got I got some talc powder. I use witch hazel instead of alcohol. Don't burn. Got right here. Got some alcohol pads, some Q-tips. Got all my combs, some oil. Actually, just oil. It ain't supposed to go in there. It's supposed to go in here with the. I got some extra blades. I keep all my extra blades and stuff in here. Phillips flathead. This is Phillips right here. So you see, I got those. Got me a nice set of. Nice set of shears. Nice little. Uh, I love. I like. I like using this razor. I can like. I can get a lot done with this. But I think I'm gonna order that MLB uh, barbers, Master League barbers, uh, high definition finger razor, whatever the things called. And then in these pockets, I got room to put stuff. Usually the the cape normally was designed to go in there, but I got one mirror. I used to have two. This is my little kid's cape, and this is my smock, I guess. It's a little junk that I put on if I don't want to get no hair on me. Well, you see, I got I got oil. I got Q-tips. I got I got everything in here really to cut ahead. You know what I mean? If I need, I don't need nothing else. The only one thing I am gonna get in here, and this is a shout out to. Uh, my man on the, on the YouTube channel I found yesterday, but you know when you be doing this mobile setups, you know going around cutting, he was true. He was he was right when he said that uh, sometimes you don't got enough light, and I can't fit no lamp in here. So what I'm gonna get? I'm gonna get one of them little headbands that goes on your head that shines the light. Get those real cheap Lowe's, Walmart, whatever. Just get one of those, and then you have the light right there. You know, but I need one that I can kind of direct the light to. I need to have it be able to direct it because sometimes you bending down, sometimes you're doing this, and I don't want to have to be controlling my head which direction to look. But uh, I'm a, that's enough rambling for right now. I just wanted to show y'all my little setup, see what y'all think. I ain't even talk about my clippers though. And then I got the well, I talked about the T outliners, and then I got sidetracked. And these are the the outliner twos. I actually like these a lot better out the box. They cut a lot smoother. They don't get as hot. You know, they feel more rugged and solid in the hand. You have a little bit more control. Um, I feel with the weight, instead of having a real light clipper, you have something that's heavy, so you, you got something to use the weight of the clipper to maybe uh, get into those close, tight to reach places. Because um, you have the weight of the clipper with your hand, you know, hitting it down. I don't know if that makes sense, but it's like I can feel the difference with a with this clippers versus this. It's a much lighter clipper. Um, these are my fast fees. I use these for all my fades. You know, anything I got a adjustable length. This is just a nice adjustable clipper. Um, and then, of course, the the classic. Oster 76s. I love these clippers. Try to keep all my stuff clean, sanitized really well. I make sure you see I got the uh, five in one spray, the Oster five in one spray. This is what I keep in here. I have the Andy spray at home, 
but I'm always spraying my blades. I make sure I spray them before I cut. When I'm done, I brush all the hair out, spray them, brush it again, and then do a light spray so they can sit in there. Um, but I don't know. Let me let me know what y'all think about about my setup. Um, any recommendations? Some stuff maybe I should add. Some new tools. Um, I am just so y'all know. I am going to get on my on my uh, on my wall game, and I'm gonna have to go ahead and get me get me some get me some walls. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna have the same setup. Three really great clippers, you know, uh, detachable blade, an adjustable clipper, and a trimmer. These are all the really clippers you need. Now, the reason why I have two is I have them set up to where one of them cuts closer than the other. Right now, this one, this one's set up to to kind of cut a little bit closer. It's a little bit uh, tighter, you know, but it and and it's not for really sensitive skin too much. These I can use on sensitive skin. I can use on anybody's skin. They cut really nice. They're really smooth. But these, if I want to get a little bit closer. Um, or if I want to get a little bit more aggressive with the line to, to bring out the detail of it, I'll put these on it. But that's really for only grown people and people that don't have sensitive skin. Um, and if it's real sensitive, I'll go ahead and use these and knock it down. But that's it. Let me know what y'all think. And uh, thanks for subscribing. I appreciate all the love and support. And y'all take care.